how can we generate more power with our forehand attacks? Now, most of us think we have a strong forehand, but often the way in which we use our body limits how much power we can generate. So what is the secret for more power? Well, we're going to hear from coach Tyler Anderson. Tyler has been a coach in London for the past 10 years and as a junior played at a national level. And what's interesting about Tyler is that, well, he's not very big, but he's able to use his small frame to get an awful lot of power on his forehand attacks. How does he do it? Well, let me pass you over to Tyler and he's going to share his secrets. Well, um, as you can see, I'm, I'm not the biggest of players. So again, I often get asked how I hit the ball so hard. The three main points for me are weight transference, use of the forearm and timing at the peak of the bounce. So when, when trying to generate a lot of power, I make sure I'm in a nice low position. My legs, the muscles in my legs are tense and I'm transferring the weight. My knees are almost dipping slightly. So my non-playing leg is turning towards my playing side and then my arm is swinging backwards. You wanna turn, turn, turn and on the point of impact, on the point of contact, you wanna close the arm and transfer the weight all at the same time. So you get your legs, your waist, and your arm involved in the shot, maximizing the amount of power you can produce from your whole body. And also just making sure that you're always turning your waist on on the forehands will allow you to produce more power if you're close to the table i would suggest rotating maybe what i'd say is a quarter rotation in terms of in relation to your body and when you're further away you want a bigger rotation because you have more time to play the shot and you have more distance for the ball to travel. So if you can take the ball at the top of the height, very right at the top of the height of the bounce, the peak of the bounce above the net, you can hit it forward more as opposed to taking it later or earlier and having to lift it so the ball can travel in a straighter line. <laughs> also, the use of the forearm is very, very important. I tend to find that if I don't do the whip, what's called the whip on my forearm, I can't generate as much power as it's not as much of a fluid movement. You want to ideally try and finish just in front of your face at all times because you want to be able to recover for the next ball if it does come back. You don't want to be going across any further because that ruins your technique and it changes the stroke completely.
Thank you very much, Tyler. Some great tips there on generating more power with your forehand attacks. What I really like about Tyler's technique is just how free and easy it is. There's no tension when he's playing this forehand stroke. He powers up through his legs and that arm just whips through. Some lovely snap coming through the elbow. And taking that ball at the peak of the bounce yeah. is crucial. As Tyler explained, if you take the ball at the peak of the bounce, yes. then you can attack in a more direct line. You don't have to go up so much, you can go forwards. Send all that energy that way. And that's how you're gonna get more speed, more power in that forehand attack. Ah, there it is. He's been waiting for it. If you want to find out more about Tyler, you can go to his Instagram page, which I've put on the screen here. He's got loads of cool videos and tips on his Instagram, um, so really worth checking out. Thank you very much for watching. I will have plenty more videos coming soon, or take a look at one of these other video tutorials. See you all again soon, bye bye.